Catholics and evangelicals are upset tonight over one particular leaked email. It features a top Clinton aide apparently mocking their faith. Senior political correspondent Mike Emanuel is covering the Clinton campaign tonight from Pueblo, Colorado. In Battleground, Colorado, Hillary Clinton pushed supporters to get out and register and to turn their ballots in early. Don't be left out because we need you. And oh, by the way, if you've got friends in Utah or Arizona, make sure they vote too. The Clinton campaign is facing new controversy with calls for communications director Jennifer Palmieri to resign. In an email exchange from 2011, Center for American Progress senior fellow John Halpin wrote to campaign chairman John Podesta mocking prominent media moguls for raising their children Catholic. Quote, they must be attracted to the systematic thought and severely backwards gender relations and must be totally unaware of Christian democracy, Halpin wrote. Podesta didn't respond, but Palmieri did, writing, quote, I imagine they think it is the most socially acceptable, politically conservative religion. Their rich friends wouldn't understand if they became evangelicals. Today on Clinton's Plane, Palmieri was asked directly about this latest controversy. I'm a Catholic. I don't recognize that email um, that, uh, that we saw. And this whole effort is led by the Russians. We are not going to do any more to come in or aid their efforts. This is yet another concern for Catholics with the Clinton campaign after her running mate, Tim Kaine, a Catholic, changed his public position on the Hyde Amendment, restricting the use of taxpayer dollars for abortion services. Catholics make up about 21% of the U.S. population and have significant representation in critical battleground states like Florida. Wisconsin and Nevada. Today, the Trump Pence ticket pounced. These emails are just the latest evidence of the hatred that the Clinton campaign has for everyday faithful Americans. Men and women of faith, I will tell you, this is a time for action, not essays. And we must roll our sleeves up and be prepared to fight every day for what we believe in. Moments ago, House Speaker Paul Ryan jumped on this latest Catholic controversy. Ryan calls the Clinton campaign's, quote, disdain for the Catholic faith and Christian evangelicals staggering. Brett? Mike, thank you.